yeah this deck can win and actually win big with only three cards played and it's all thanks to super giant because if you play this on turn four and then you play a taskmaster on turn five he's hidden until the end of the game then you play your blob on turn six and because this deck is stuffed with so many crazy big cards your blob can be like 20 25 30 plus power even in this nerfed version of the blob you know this would have been even crazier with old blob but even with new blob can still be huge and then of course taskmaster reveals at the end of the game sees blob was your last played card and you just get two crazy monster threats and look, I, I built this as a total meme, right? Basically, I was trying to play a real deck for a video. I was going to play uh, Dara's number one Sarah deck. And it was like, it was going fine, but it was just so boring. And no slight to the deck. It's obviously very good and very powerful and stuff, but just so boring. I wasn't having any fun. So I was like, I'm going to build a meme. I'm going to have some fun. This will be way more fun to record. And I built this. And then I went a casual 12 and 5 over my first hour of games that's north of a 70 percent win rate up 18 cubes because this deck actually just works really well as an electro ramp deck half the time because we also put a wave and an electro in here as a backup plan because sometimes just wave into blob and taskmaster can win you games and you often have an extra leftover six drop there play a giganto or something or electro into stuff can help you win games playing a couple big six drops it had a good win rate at post infinite no bots in the mix either and we're actually playing pretty good players too early in the season of infinite so i was really impressed with this one do we hit the three card dream all that often no of course not things have to line up well but it just finds really big, interesting ways to win with enormous cards. As you're gonna see countless times in this video, this deck just does really fun, crazy stuff. And I love it so much. It is really, really fun. Copy of a card in your opponent's hand, Hercules. And I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> if, you if you had had me guess cards I could get off a of daily beagle tonight, Hercules might've been in the bottom five. I'm thinking this might be like a Phoenix Horse deck or something. Forge and Hercules definitely makes me think about that. Oh, well, I guess we know what they got. That's our Orca. That's funny. Oh, we have the line, dude. Okay. Um, which is good because we're not going to get a wave. We we uh, have a full hand, so there is nothing else for us to cheese here. I think personally, and we need to hit like giganto into infinite for the 34 power dream actually yeah yeah there's also arrow wave infinite or red skull infinite there's quite a few ways to get 34 but we might need it i think we don't stack left because move decks can get left a lot of the time right like they're good at going left I think we stack mid. This is a little bit more exposed to the dagger, I suppose, because she is currently left. But I think she'll also want to go left later. So, I don't know. Let's just see what we can do. Yeah, sadly the Hercules is here too now. Oh, we drew infinite. That makes Blob potentially much smaller. Although 30 is certainly still possible too. I don't know how big we need to be for the record, but probably pretty big. Uh, I'm going to spread these out so Dagger doesn't have two cards at once right now. Oh, that's where I got Supergiant is honestly limiting them quite a bit. That's sort of cool. Okay, so we definitely want to hit 30. Giganto into Destroyer or like Wave Arrow. What we don't want to hit is Wave Arrow Electro. 16 would kill us or Destroyer first. Pretty unlikely to get exactly 16 here, though, to be honest. Supergiant doesn't actually matter where that is at all. B30! 28 is quite good. We're happy. We like 28. That's that's going to be just fine. 28 is sufficient. I think right as well. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Nice, dude. Three card deck. We literally just played three cards and we win. That is silly, dude. Actually silly. All you need is three, man. Like, what, what, our opponent played how many cards? My God, seven cards? Why not just win with three? <laughs> Oscorp Tower Electro is insane. That's so good, dude. This is going to be a high Evo deck, I bet you. 
uh, with that portrait. You just know Cyclops and Droyers, you know, like, uh, you know, a Cyclops and Droyers always playing high Evo because there's no other way to enjoy Cyclops. <laughs> you're, you're pretty limited. So hopefully this limits any kind of like She-Hulk turn six type plays. Oh, we have super giant blob as well as a possibility we want here. Uh, well, that doesn't really tell us much, but that is actually a, a little bit annoying for uh, like Blob Taskmaster stuff. So we don't have to play with Super Giant here. We could go just regular five drop as well. I guess it depends on how much maybe we trust our Taskmaster to land. So one, it's a one and one and five. We really shouldn't. We really shouldn't trust it. I think we just arrow and play this game a little more straight up, right? We can still blob next turn and hope to Taskmaster on, on six, maybe. Black Swan, but with Electro on board. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know. Um, is this an overcommitment? We're still behind, so I don't think so. It just really shuts down the Nebula, right? We're getting minimum 17 here. Um, max 32. It's pretty good. Destroyer though, that's big. I was hoping for Orca to win to win mid, but I don't see that happening. Taskmaster left, we just trust. I'm a little worried about Eliath, always. Always worried about oh that's I'm not worried about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this this was Well, we won with three cards. I mean we, we played an electro technically, right? So kinda like four cards, I guess. But blob time, dude, like how is this not being used more? Th this is this is really in a lot of ways just a two card deck. You know, it's blob taskmaster plus one of your ramp cards and you just win. I, I know it's susceptible to Shang-Chi, so like we just haven't really been running into it any though, to be honest. Okay, space turn is usually something we're very favored on. We could maybe even do some kind of spicy play with arrow uh, where we like really steal it from him, but uh sure dude this electra is so good Dagon's pretty useless for us i would say but a three four is just a three four sometimes i, there, I certainly would prefer to play a different card though so that i have hand size availability like i'd rather get wave or electro of course because right now this fills my hand up yeah nice waves perfect um yeah i mean wave into like blob or well i mean yeah, wave into blob would really be the dream. Uh, we could maybe just rip an orca. It's still pretty big. I don't think arrow moving a mojo really helps enough. I mean, I guess hulks are bigger than orcas if we're going to just go for the big guy plan. Destroyers, they all destroy each other. So it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't like create that much opportunity. We could just destroy your left as well right now. But orca left is is just as good. Uh, I don't really I don't really have to delete this seven power. I, this is kind of early to play in of our sinisters. My only hesitation. Maybe I just don't have to yet. Well, I mean, why, well I'm talking about all this Orca stuff. Why aren't we just Orca? You know? It's worse against Shang Chi is why, but it's better against some stuff. Oh, wow. We're matched. That's actually wild, dude. Blob is a turn late. I can move their destroyer mid if I want, I guess. I have priority. That probably always wins me left, and then Blob always wins me right, right? Like, this is probably fine. Like, they don't have another card this big. There's no way. It's just impossible. And Blob is at least minimum 17, right? And that's the first one. And then the second one gets even bigger, right? So. Oh, that Mr. Fantastic was gonna pull them ahead in space throne, bro. <laughs> Wow, they actually had it. And that Craven somehow is not buffed. That's hilarious. Um, I love that, dude. He came in a little late. Sorry, Craven. A little late. I mean, there's just no way, right? How do they ever plan to... They, 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 they can't. Like, how do you win left and... I mean, mid is not even safe. How do you... It's impossible. Maybe they think I don't have anything right. I'd love to see these blobs go off. I hope they don't retreat. They should retreat, but I hope they don't. I hope they're like, oh, one cube. No, it's fine. Let's watch the ending, man. Let's see the fireworks. Maybe they got Shang-Chi plus, um, well, even a Shadow King wouldn't work because Mr. Fantastic gives them priority mid and right. Omega Red, that's fun. If they win this, they can gain a ton of power left, but is it enough? Surely not enough, right? I mean, it's only it's only 12 off these plus two for mr fantastic 14 you need you need another card mid to help and that's if you win 
course they're not gonna win so I guess maybe they're just caring more about Triskelly and getting short up here. Dude, these plops, dude, the second one is insane. <laughs> oh my god. Chill, uh, 162, yeah, nice. That arrow was clutch here, though. They would have absolutely owned... I mean, I guess we probably win mid if they don't have a destroyer here, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, they would be, they would have almost nothing. So we were probably fine either way, to be honest. Just playing a big card there would have worked too, I bet. But still, pretty fun. Space Stone. Well, we definitely don't answer stones very well. Monster Metropolis is pretty cool for us. Electro is totally fine. Uh, we actually have a five drop we can even play early here. Do we want to go for Red Skull against a Thanos deck, though, or just Arrow, probably? Probably Arrow. I don't think we need to get fancy. Arrow into negative zone in particular could be pretty spicy. Um, shame we don't have Super Giant though. We actually have uh, Taskmaster Blob right now. Oh. Wave making things even more interesting potentially. It's pretty good early destroyer for once. Pretty good early destroyer. I think we take it. Blob should still have plenty of relevancy after this. No super giant lines anyway. This destroyer is likely to be 19 into the Taskmaster next turn, which is really powerful. I think we'll just play that into negative zone probably. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They weren't expecting this. <laughs> okay. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. Um, could also pass into an infinite. No, I think I think I think our ability to spread power here is fine. Like blob left is so big that we'll be covering all three bases against like a Shang Chi or whatever. I mean, I guess in theory there's like some risk of I don't know precisely Shang Chi and Shadow King positioned perfectly or something, right? But I'll take that risk, I guess. <laughs> Famous last words, by the way. <laughs> we could pull the the vision if we think that matters, but um this is always at least 16 right so bigger than giganto sometimes it's actually 21 which is really nice um so we went left here easy. 21 nice 13's a little baby blob ah, didn't even didn't even beat uh my taskmaster it's really 16 right so Got a Thanos and some garbage, yeah. Cool, dude. Great win. Just all three lanes completely covered. That is beautiful. Ooh, that's our hand that we even have Sinister London, dude. Oh my God. Okay, so I literally don't need any other cards. This is the three card hand. All I really need, I, I guess, do we just do it? Or, well, if we do it early, we kind of throw off um the timing well we could still just play blob on six i guess so maybe we don't really throw off the timing no it's fine we can like weave in a magneto then right so yeah oh my god oh no that doesn't change anything we still want a super giant here i think um are we worried at all about like galactus shenanigans what it is revealing first so i could super giant here i still have space for one two three i guess Guess for Galactus, I like that a little better. Although, I don't know, Galactus is just Galactus, right? <sighs> he still goes off, but maybe I can win with just Blob Taskmaster stuff. Oh, it's not Galactus at least, okay. Iron Light into Wolverine. Oh, that's actually kind of nuts. Oh, that's great. That's a garbage car. Well, it's not actually that great. It doesn't really matter too much with Blob. He absorbs that one pretty cleanly, I think, actually with the breakpoints on the stack. Um, okay, so this turn we Taskmaster, obviously. We want it here so that it copies. Oh my god, we could also do Infinite if we think it's bigger than Blob. Well, right now, Blob's smallest size. Um, oh, well, actually, you know what? We're only going to have one card left in the deck. So Blob's either going to be 14 or 11. So I should actually just do Blob now just to reap the, the Sinister London benefit. And there is maybe an argument to passing next turn, I guess? Blob's going to be 25. I want that other Taskmaster, right? It's a shame we've drawn so many cards because th this would actually gain another bonus if, it, if we had cards left. I mean, if I just pass, I, I beat a Lyoth, right? Pretty much always, I think. 
Like there's obviously Shang Chi is a bit of a risk. If I play anything, Taskmaster copies it, so like he'll lose 13 power, but I gain 12, right? I can double my power basically. Uh, so I think we just pass, right? Like th this is true, right? We gain 12 and 12, which is 24, but this then would be 12 and 12, which is smaller than just 25. I mean, I don't know. Let's see, right? This is the three card deck. Let's see if it can win with three cards. That's the that's the that's the check here. What is uh we're revealing first. Actually, Lyoth is not a risk. I forgot we're revealing for well, it actually is still a risk, I guess, but not not on this last one anyway. Doc Ock! Oh that usually just hits a home run for me. Um Red Skull, I guess, could have been a little risky, yeah. Oh destroy her. Oh, no. <laughs> No, it's not like this. I forgot about this true here. Oh. No. Oh god. Dude, we hit the dream. Oh. I can't remove destroy from the deck, right? He's honestly a, just a natural fit with the curve. We could get a 16 power Taskmaster. That's just bad luck. Okay, we always love Wave. Uh, wave Blob Taskmaster is legit a fantastic, uh, a t fantastic line. We can't can't complain. Oh my goodness, cloning Vats Blob is insane. It's actually so insane. Uh, I don't know what they said, but they're fist bumping. So we'll return the favor. Oh, this is so insane, dude. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong here. The second blob still gets to activate again, too, is what's nice. Imagine this deck with Super Giant Taskmaster Blob with the old blob. I, 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 ooh, ooh, Blob's got that locked up, right? I, 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 maybe that's part of the reason Blob got nerfed. I mean, that's not really part of the reason because Blob was just insanely overpowered, is the reason. He doesn't, <laughs> we didn't really need another part of the reason. <laughs> that was a sufficiently large reason. But, uh, Maybe, maybe that was also in the back of the mind. Who knows? Elsa Kitty. So this actually could be a Shuri uh, Kitty Pride deck. We've seen these popping up a couple of times this week. It's cool. I saw a few lists on Twitter. I liked a lot. I almost played one today. Um, Boy, we do have Super Giant Taskmaster Blob line, but I think here when you've got cloning vats, it's just you just rip it and go. I just don't think you worry about it at all. You're just getting extra giant blobs every time, right? And with Great Web... We're potentially even like spacing these out a little too. Um, the problem we have right now actually is, and it's only a little bit of a problem potentially, but it is a little bit of a problem. It's that Great Web always has a chance to pull my Space Throne card. I, I don't know. I, like I, I might get wrecked by Great Web, you know? Yeah, there's the Shuri Kitty incoming, I think. Oh, they went Shuri Nightcrawler. Wait, the kitty, I guess it was in hand, but maybe it just wasn't big enough yet. We needed the copied version off the Nightcrawler or whatever. Okay, so see, that's actually pretty good, I guess. And then we just blob here, and he gets even bigger. Yeah, the opponent just knows it's done, yeah. Victory. Nice. Okay, cool. Three blobs is pretty good. Mount Vesuvius. Okay. Yeah, sure. That's, uh, yeah, well, okay. Yeah. I don't have anything happening yet, but maybe. Taskmaster is a good start, but we need a ramp card of some kind. One of the three. Super Giant, not really a ramp card, but you know what I mean. Some kind of cheese card here for sure. Uh, there's a cheese card. Nice. Okay. So actually, we have a pretty cool play with Stark Tower and Orca here, where we can make the Orca. Uh, well, no, never mind. No, never mind. Stark Tower happens on turn five. Nope, that doesn't work. Scratch that. We can buff the task. Well, no, the Taskmaster doesn't work either. Never mind. Scratch that. All my ideas are bad. <laughs> Confirmed. All of my ideas are bad. Just ignore my ideas. Everything I say is bad. So this would be a blob on seven here for this Taskmaster, right? Um, it is kind of funny that we can put this here into the Cyclops. The the, the problem is that this, lo this location is going to have a ton of power for free off Stark Tower, right? Maybe I do still want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it, though. It's not crazy to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it, I don't think. Could also Magneto stuff out of it as well for later. Can't use Kunlun for that though. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Taskmaster is definitely the play. It's just where it goes. That's that's the relevant conversation. Attacking his power directly can be nice. I don't I don't think we trust 20 on the Taskmaster, do we? We're better off with a 12 and a 14 as a 26. It makes the Taskmaster only 14 instead of 20. So this would be 20 and 20, which is 40. But this would be 14 and 14 is 28 plus 12 is 40. This is definitely better if I top deck Blob, though. Way better if I top deck Blob. Although Blob actually is either 16 or 30, a 50-50 chance. <laughs> so I don't know. Now that I say that, that's also kind of risky. Uh, do we lock them up here? We do. Yeah, okay. That's sort of powerful as well. Get Destroyer instead. So now it's really just a debate about which cards I'm playing here. Well, I guess it's not really a debate. It's probably always Giganto, right? Because we win... Well, Cyclops actually makes this, uh, oh, well, not a tie, no. We go to 26, so yeah. But the problem is, do you trust this 14? I, I don't trust this 14. Seems like they might even have an Eliath the way they're snapping. Eliath would make Sunspot only one, though. Could do something like this as well, which is kind of a sp spicier line, slightly different for a slight buff there. But I, I think this is the move, but it's just risky because of Eliath. But we win with Eliath, right? Because Sunspot's not big enough. It just doesn't matter. Like we said, the sunspot just doesn't matter. Even if the Misty Knight hit it, they're still one off. Wow, they kind of trusted this Eliath too much, I think. Maybe they just assumed that left was completely safe. I played them earlier. They emoted a lot, as I recall. Let's see if they're... Oh, yeah, lots of emotes. Hello, I think they beat me, if I recall. I did something I did something bad, though, if I remember right. I don't remember what I did. Something I wasn't happy with a line or something. It wasn't this deck either, though. Um, Sure, let's snap. Who cares? Who cares? I don't believe you, they said. Well, it's time to believe, buddy. Vibranium Mines. I do like Vibranium Mines in some ways to, like, smooth out our curve a little bit. But in other ways, I don't know. It uh, doesn't usually hurt with Blob too much with breakpoints, probably, if we look closely. Like, it doesn't create any, like, right at 50. Well, I guess, like, Giganto, maybe. But even that'd be, like, 18. This would be exactly 15 with Orca. There are probably some negative breakpoints, but maybe not too bad. Oh, yeah, that's right. They were playing this. They got, a, they got a good hella hit. That's how they beat me last time, but I was playing a different deck. I think I gained priority when I didn't want to is what I was unhappy with from the play standpoint, if I remember right. Um, probably just no good place to put this Red Skull realistically. I will play Blob next turn into Taskmaster and hope that that's enough, but I don't really know that it will be. Blob needs to be sufficiently big to, to beat a, a Black Knight deck like this. Oh my god, dude, this guy is just a freaking legend, dude. A freaking legend, dude. I don't know. How do we how do we beat the free infinites, right? It's really hard. Let's get some good stuff. I don't know. 20 plus. Oh my god. 34? Bro. Bro. We trust 34 here, right? 34 plus 14. It's 48. They need 18 power. I mean, there's no way, right? What did they discard? Oh no, a giganto. Oh no, I look, I'm looking at the wrong thing. A giganto. Be 14. I'm just worried about Dracula plus another card being too big. I, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, 14's fine. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude. Oh, I didn't even account. I didn't. I actually forgot to account for the Red Skull buff on it. That was 46, but still fine. Still fine. Oh my god, dude. Woo! That, by the way, was not threatening at all. I should have went right. Uh, it wasn't that 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 wasn't that bad at all the, the, but see here's the thing right like with these sorts of things like they always expect you to go right because that's where you're closest and then do they do something weird you know what i mean so i don't know sometimes attacking the biggest deficit deficit if you're sufficiently large to cover a recovery like a a compliment card is better whatever the case we take eight off the guy who emoted me like crazy last time if i remember right oh hey it's this dude again we played this guy three times tonight yeah uh, they changed decks, maybe? Maybe not. They were playing what? They just saw us. 
Uh, sure, we'll play for eight again because it's fun. <laughs> I think they might have changed decks though. Uh, I think they're in good spirits though, at least this time. Can we get a Can we get a Taskmaster? Because this would be beautiful, dude. This would be beautiful because we could put a big card here for an even bigger Taskmaster buff. You know, this is definitely a different list, right? So they just got our Super Giant uh, with a buff. It's a four seven. Mobius uh, honestly really doesn't matter to me. This is just strictly about whether or not I hit Taskmaster next turn, I think. Without Taskmaster, the best I can do is play Arrow. It's just not very exciting, obviously. Can we get Taskmaster, baby? Come on, one time, one time. One time for eight, it's for eight cubes. Make an appearance. Oh, I missed the need of the roll, that's sad. We tried. Yeah, uh, yeah, no Taskmaster. I mean, there's a world where maybe Arrow disrupts somehow, but I really doubt it. Opponent should play a card here this turn, probably to flip this and feel safe on it. Um, oh yeah, this hand is just the worst. <laughs> so, I gotta think about how this Arrow works. <laughs> they have priority, so there's a reveal first. So Arrow will pull this card. Maybe I'll actually win right on the five to three here and just win with Blob. I'm obviously a little bit worried about like Eliath as always. They would Eliath here though, so I don't know. I mean, Eliath is kind of free sometimes. Quake again. Sadly, the problem is they played two cards left, so my arrow gets wrecked. That was my way to win right, was arrow, which I definitely don't have now. Particularly because Need of Lear just helped them even more. And arrow definitely can't win, can't win left. So it's funny, we, we actually probably would have had this if not for that uh, double up left. That's kind of random for them. Maybe they were just thinking they had to get big enough to win. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, we would have had this. Wow. That wasn't anything like disruptive. So like, well, I don't know. I mean, there's a pretty good chance they could have supported the, um, if they didn't play one of those, one of those small cards left, right? There's a pretty good chance they could have supported the Mobius with one of them too, you know, just a rogue here or whatever. Um, if this were Taskmaster though too, easy win dude, easy win. Oh my god, it's this guy again. I have played this guy like five times. Does no one play at 3.38 in the morning? America time? I just don't understand, man. Lysio's pretty cool for us, I think. I mean, it benefits everybody, so it's hard to say you benefit sort of unfairly. Okay, so they got either Arrow or Taskmaster. I would say both are a little spooky. Uh, Supergiant Taskmaster is pretty cool though. We can put a big card here, maybe to get even a little extra bonus stats. Maybe we could do tire. Oh, dude, Mobius sucks. Mobius Elysium, dude, that's no fun. That's rude. Yeah, I think Nakia here is sort of free, right? We're really just looking for the big blob to hit, and, and it needs to actually be big. Oh, bro, they ripped a destroyer for free for me. Oh my god, this is not the deck to play Gladiator into. And that was a random gladiator as well. Oh my God, that's kind of sad. With our normal curve, we can't go Taskmaster Infinite anymore. So we got to find a different line. Giganto is currently like my biggest guy. <laughs> Blob would be great to see, but he's actually only ever going to be 19 max. So actually, in some ways, Orca is my biggest guy. 16 over Giganto's 15. Blob would still be 19. As he would still be my biggest guy. Man, they actually played right again. Are you kidding me? I don't know. 16? Better than 15, yeah. I mean, it is ongoing, so there's some downside there technically. Do we think any of like, like Magneto matters? The opponent's revealing first, so there is... Maybe some world where like pulling Gladiator or Mobius helps me win mid and right. I'm just smaller left. Like I lose left always. Cause that's at least 15. Like, do I think I can win left with Orca at 16? <laughs> Maybe it's hard to say. I don't know. Just... Super giant makes everything so unpredictable, you know? Uh, Miss Marvel's awfully big. Yeah. Are we, we're still big enough though, right? Yeah. 16 is going to visit 32. 29 though oh god 
No, but we're fine. We're 30. Well, oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh, that's just Orca. Okay. And we lose. <gasps> 31? Ha ha! Ha ha! Dude, this is my third straight eight cube battle. He he won one and I won two with this guy. Not not games in a row, but third tonight, I should say. But three in a row were all eight cubers. We we early snapped every time. Good lord, dude. Scary. Okay. Uh Abby is I mean the opponent's really slow to it, I guess we have a chance, right? Wave blob taskmaster kind of thing, but unlikely. Do we like wave better than electro? Oh, we can actually tempo a carnage. I don't I mean they're they're obviously gonna beat uh, beat us to Abbey, but it's kind of free for us. Mm, sure. I mean wave well, definitely with Taskmaster, yes. Wave is insane, I guess, right? Kyera doesn't matter. Some ways I wish I had Kyera, right? But um, Oh, everybody's just moving a lot. Uh, that's actually pretty cool because they're going to be stacked up with a bunch of non-power cards here, basically. So, um, we're looking for like 36 or so on Blob would be the dream, right? Not 16. Speaking of which, Destroyer's a little bit of a risk in this deck for a couple reasons. Blob is, oh my god, dude. <laughs> you have really been calling out to Professor X's today. Oh, I jinxed it with a 16 though, man. I called this, dang it. Because he's over 15, right? I, but Destroyer's really good in this deck because you can hide a card behind Supergiant and then still destroy her. So it's like, I, I want I want to destroy her. You know what I mean? Like, I think Destroyer's right. Let's play for Orca here, I guess, right? I think Destroyer needs to be in the deck is, is what I'm saying. It's just, it has some downsides. I'm certainly aware of them. Mr. Negative, is this magic maybe? Oh, not quite, no. Mr. Negative's like kind of spooky though, isn't it? Well, not really, they're only getting one card. No, it's it's maybe not that spooky. <laughs> I don't know, we're just covered with 16, 16, 16 here. It's pretty funny. They've got a big deficit, right? I mean, you know, Shang-Chi plus some insane Mr. Negative card could definitely win this. Like, there's no question, but I like that we kind of got a freebie left. Yeah, they just don't even have an answer right. Cool. Dude, this deck is actually slapping right now. What the heck? I was playing like a real deck. I was going to play Dara's number one Sarah Control, and I was just having the worst time. I wasn't having fun. Is like kind of winning but not really and then i boot up this nonsense deck i made for fun and i'm just having so much more fun and i'm actually winning too like i have a six and two win rate so far what the heck dude that is crazy okay yeah man uh rickety bridge it's kind of awkward for us because it's gonna be hard for us to like get a card in there at the right time and the opponent might just like win it for free on turn six we could maybe fix that with like a Magneto on six or something too, you know. There are potentially ways around that. Oh man, this game does not want us playing. Jeez. Wow. Uh, okay. I just have no way to contest Sanctum Sanctorum there. They high rolled that like crazy. Uh... I might have to like play for a tie or something. I, I don't know, like arrow. Oh, this is tough, dude. I think I'm gonna have to like arrow, but what am I playing on six? Maybe, I don't, I actually have no idea what to do here. This is really hard to win. It seems impossible actually. Devil Dinosaur, Nebula was their last played card there for arrow considerations. It's one of those where I like, if the opponent plays a card, well, they don't even have to play a card left. Well, this actually pulls, oh no, they have priority, so I don't know what it pulls. <sighs> Dang it, dude. Probably nothing is what it pulls. I really needed a bigger play here. And then I could play arrow on six maybe and try to do something, um, like pull, pull whatever the most newly played card left is. 
but as it stands like this is my only five drop to play i needed like taskmaster to play and then i could arrow on six and try to make a big play like that but as it stands i don't know how to win arrow for them too oh weird okay I mean, I literally just have to play a card left and then I, I need to be able to win here and I'm only ahead by five, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not possible. I mean, surely they can add seven power mid, right? <laughs> how do you, how do you not add seven power mid? They might even have an Eliath if they, well, no, they can't play Eliath left, that would fail. You have to have seven power mid though. Wait, they played Eliath mid. Wait. Bro. Bro. <laughs> why would i play mid i guess maybe they thought i was gonna play two cards which is fair they thought i was gonna play a card here and here but even then it still doesn't they still don't win they're just behind by too much oh a random null out of the opponent's hand okay null is null is interesting right because if we actually hit our like if they go for the big null and they're like oh yeah i'm making a big null man that's how i'm winning this game and then if we hit our, our super giant taskmaster combo, we might be able to just go null instead of like a blob and it could be even bigger. Um, so pretty cool card to get, uh, to get the copy of, I have to say. Of all things, oh my goodness. <laughs> Electro's, Electro's weird because, you know, your instinct is like destroy Electro, destroy Electro, but it is really hard for us to play two cards in a given turn. Like no two energy costs go together other than like wave and Electro on six or sometimes the limbo game wave and super giant. So I, I, like you could argue like I'm only going to play for two spots, but I guess because you might want to be able to play to Vormir, throwing away the two power here is, is still ultimately worth it, right? This always this always rolls mid, right? I know. Well, I guess it's actually guaranteed to because of Great Web. <laughs> Even if it doesn't off the Wolverine. So just to open up Vormir, this has to be worth it. But if it, you know, if it were, uh, what's that? If it were like Death's Domain, would we do it? I don't know, actually. Death's Domain, it might be smarter to, to leave the two power up. Like that two power might just be an upside. There, there are things that can obviously change all that a little bit, I guess, but. Yeah, sadly here, we didn't hit the taskmaster i'm wondering if we null like, like it's arguably not as big as an orca based on what we see currently seven nine it's 13. i i do like that the opponent doesn't know what the null is they might not have a, a feel for how big it is or like if there's matches sort of thing right like it may feel too small i mean is there any world in which this is ever well, we've also got Great Web to contest. I guess we don't want to put a card here because we might end up with all three cards in the same spot. So hopefully this is 30 and not 16. This Destroyer keeps getting stuck in deck and causing me some problems, to be honest. I, I'm really, I'm still like on Destroyer's side for this deck because I think there will be a game where he's my biggest six drop and it just makes sense. Um, and it'll be like, yes, we got a 16 power Taskmaster out of him. Uh, but I don't know, man. I, the, the more we do this, the more I'm against Destroyer. Maybe it's 30, though. It's 30 this time. Nice. Okay. I'm pro Destroyer again. Uh, is this Null big enough to win, though? They never... You're kidding me, dude. They just didn't destroy any cards, dude. <laughs> dude, come on. This Destroy deck just didn't... Oh, come on, man. Like, god dang it, dude. They just, they just didn't destroy any cards. They were like, nah, I'm not going to do the thing that I normally do.